In this video, I'm going to share with you guys on how much entry-level automotive engineers make. Let's get into it. All the data I'm going to share with you is from my experience with Honda and from other colleagues' experience with Honda that work there. Just to preface this, if you're in the field of engineering to make money, this is not the field for you because there's a lot that goes into it. And if you don't have somewhat of a passion for engineering, you will be burnt out and you will not make it through engineering. If money is all you're after, there are other avenues for you to take that will yield you a significant amount more money than engineering. Now, back to the main topic. The position I got an interview for was a transmission dyno test engineer. I would have been using instrumentation to gather data on all the transmissions Honda uses and then using that data, giving it back to the design engineers for revisions or modifications. The way Honda does their interviews is you first go through a phone screening and then once you pass the phone screening, they will fly you up to Ohio for an in-person interview. So during the phone screening, this is more behavioral type questions. Honda uses a STAR method, which involves uh, situation, task, action, results. They will ask you about a situation you were involved with, what were the actions that you did, and what were the results that came out of it. And then from there, if you pass the phone screening, they will fly you out to Ohio. After my phone interview was done, I asked my recruiter how many other people were applying for this position, and she told me three other people, so four including myself. And then she also told me that the position was offering anywhere from $64,000 to $72,000, and I should hear back in a few weeks regarding my decision for an in-person interview. Now, I declined the in-person interview, I think two weeks after my phone screen, because I had already accepted a job offer, and I didn't want to waste Honda's time. Though I wish I would have gone through the whole process just to be flown up to Ohio to speak with the engineers at Honda and just to see what would have happened. I'd like to think they would have given me an offer, <laughs> but anything could happen. Let's look at a great database called Glassdoor, and we can see that entry-level engineers at Honda make between sixty dollars to $70,000. And that was in the ballpark of what my recruiter told me that they would offer me. And you can use Glassdoor as a great reference to see what companies offer as far as benefits, salaries, the pros and cons to that company. You can use this for any company you want to just to get a better insight of what that company's like. Now, I know a few colleagues at Honda who make close to $80,000 with their $65,000 base pay because of the overtime that they put in. At Honda, because it is a Japanese company, the Japanese culture is somewhat influenced in the American culture. And so there's a lot of overtime that's involved. Yes, salary is important, but that's not the full story of what's offered. You have to look at what are the retirement plans, what is the health insurance, the PTO, what other benefits do you receive from that company? Because yes, you may be making $70,000, but if they offer no health insurance, no vacation time, nothing, just the $70,000, you have to look at other aspects as far as is that job really worth it? What my colleagues have told me regarding Honda, they offer great 401k retirement plans, pretty good health insurance, product discounts, and PTO time. Not just your typical two weeks of pay time off, but they have facility shutdowns. So during Christmas and 4th of July, they have a, I think like a week or two week facility shutdown. And so you have that as pay time off. So this is some great benefits that Honda offers. You know, So you may be making $65,000 at Honda, which is a decent amount, but then on top of that, you have all these great benefits. So really, if you're not looking at just the dollar amount, you're getting a great package. Now, stepping away from Honda, there are similar automotive companies that follow the same path that Honda does as far as the $65 to $70,000 salary range. You can expect this pretty much across the board for most automotive companies. Anywhere from 60 to 70 is, is a good entry level range for automotive engineers. Now to help some people understand what $65,000 really is, because when I was younger, I didn't understand the value of money and what $65,000 really could get you. And so with your $65,000 gross or your before taxes, after taxes is your net. So you will receive roughly about $40 to $42,000 depending on where you live. So with this $40,000 take home, you can realistically afford a $300,000 home. We'll look at Charlotte, for example, given you have the correct down payment, the credit score, the interest rate, all that's good. You can get a $300,000 home, get a car, and still live comfortable. Now, because the real estate market's kind of crazy, um, the homes listed for $300,000 are, are really in the $250,000 price range before COVID. So these homes really don't reflect on how good of a value you can receive. Though in a normal market, you can get a much better home. So to summarize, entry-level automotive engineers can make anywhere from sixty dollars to $70,000 as long as you live below your means. You can live a comfortable life, afford a decent home, have a car, some of the luxury items, and enjoy the aspects of life that you want to. I hope this gave you some insight on what entry-level automotive engineers make, and this will either persuade you or give you some motivation to pursue engineering because you enjoy engineering. 
So with all that being said, I thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you.